Hey guys, welcome back to the long-awaited episode 2 of the Dreamcasters. I'm Panic64, and as usual, we have It's Nick for short and Eldrin. If you guys would like to introduce yourselves. Hello, everybody. Hey, everyone. And, in today's and me too. Video, don't forget, don't uh, forget uh, me. Don't forget me. I'm here. here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, we are about to get a res. Yeah. <laughs> and in today's video, we have a very special and legendary guest that I feel if I introduce him, it wouldn't be as awesome. So I'll let him introduce himself. Hi everybody, this is Johnny Gioelli, lead singer and founder of Crush 40! <laughs> uh, uh, Johnny. Wait, when you say legendary, when you say legendary, bro, that makes me feel old as hell. <laughs> but uh, I, guess, I guess legendary can also mean other things. But like we'll, awesome. we'll go with, Okay, oh, we're going with awesome. We're going with yeah. awesome. It's in a good way. It's in a good yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. <laughs> Johnny, before we start, we uh, actually reached out to, um, there's a Crush 40 Discord. I'm not sure if you're aware um, or have heard of it or not, but it's a fan-run Discord, and they're also uh, making their own fan website. And um, we reached out to them, and they uh, they wanted to also ask some questions. So uh, we have sure, them man. dispersed throughout the, wait, what? Oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, I invite everybody. Bring all everybody on Discord. Everybody, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> no, but uh, we 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 got some questions from them too, and I'll uh, I'll let you know mm -hmm. which ones are uh, from the from the Discord and all. And if you'd like, I can send okay. you the the uh, the link and all that to the website and all that. I think they're still renovating the website right now, though. But yeah, that's that's cool. And I'm actually I'm honored that someone would would build that. And uh, wow, incredible. <laughs> that's what I love about this whole franchise man it's just unbelievable the support is you know different than making a record like you know my other projects mm -hmm. you, know, you make a cool you make a cool record it gets notoriety people ah, great they come out to the show and then just kind of fades away into the sunset mm -hmm. right? right not this stuff mm -hmm. man not not what we do not what we do together it's like like i said a massive world family of, mm. of, <laughs> of crushers and and sonic fans and ah, i could go on and on man i got a lot of energy i, mm. I gotta say it, it is crazy just because like you know i i, I was uh born 2000 and and just so like around when like you know sonic adventure sonic adventure 2 was coming out and everything and like where you know like crush 40 was like sonic well is sonic mm. and just yeah. like like now like listen like listening to those songs throughout my life and still listening to them and now like actually talking with you is just like incredible to me like it's absolutely insane so oh yeah. that's awesome like, I, 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 I i i know like i'm speaking for everyone here but like we are just like so honored to have you on oh, yeah thank yeah you. it is, no, it is that... absolutely mind-blowing like thank I, you bro thank you guys it's just amazing like all the music it's perfect oh like, yeah two chefs kisses oh, yeah. amazing stuff it's, <laughs> it's great bro Thank right. you. Thank you guys. I appreciate it, man. You know, it's, um, it's, you know, my quest in this whole, you know, music business, we'll call it business was, I, I never really, I never looked at the monetary value of anything like, Oh God, I hope I make a lot of money. Oh, I hope I get a new Lamborghini. <laughs> I never looked at any of that shit. I looked at the impact and hopefully the memory you know the recall that you can have when you when you're when you're living in like pure happiness and so if these songs bring you that happiness and you can recall them like when you were young and really young i mean you guys are young but when you were really young and you played these <laughs> games and you, and you built those memories right yeah, yeah. It, yeah for bro. me think about it for me as an artist to be part of your history as like when you were a kid and it stayed with you Come on, man! That there is <laughs> yeah. no greater gift for an artist, right? I mean, right. you think about it. It's insane. Exactly. It's insane. So, as much as you guys are happy to have me, I am equally, probably even more happy to be with you because here we are, man. Mm -hmm. So, twenty something years of doing this, and we're mm -hmm. still talking about it, and we're still excited about it, and living. It. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, it, thank you. That means a lot. Yeah, it really does. All right. So we should probably get uh, start with the first question. Now, this one, um, you've probably been asked this one before, but I feel like it's probably a good base first, like a good first question to ask. So sure. how did the how did the band form and what led to the name Crush 40? <laughs> OK, so, yeah, I get this question a lot, but 
um, it's never the answer that people expect. Mm. So um, June Sonoy brought me in to when we had Thrill of the Feel, mm. and we we worked on all the, the NASCAR Sega uh, game, the racing game. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so that was my first kind of intro to to the gaming world, even though that was like an arcade, that was arcade. So then he brought me back to work on some other stuff. So I'm going to tell you guys, and don't laugh because you know I'm an old bastard. So <laughs> my involvement with gaming was Pong, man. That's all I have. <laughs> that was, that's it, bro. I mean, that's all we had. And then it was pretty cool when Frogger came out and we could like jump on the logs, right? So, um, so June and I, June started to expand, you know, this, this whole music behind the game. And it was my brainchild. It was my idea. I said, listen, June, we, we've got to be a band within the game because people, fans, cause at the time I didn't understand the community yet. Right. Cause I was mm -hmm. so new to it, but I said, people like they buy a soundtrack to a movie they'll they may buy the game because they love our music or they may just buy the game because they love the game or whatever so so at that point i was thinking like this is um should be like a movie right mm -hmm. and so he goes well okay well we need a name and so i was in my 30s here we go crushing in my 30s so <laughs> i was in my 30s and and, and i absolutely thought that Four, hitting 40 years old was just going to be devastating mm. and so i was in my 30s and i literally told him i said we should just crush 40 i don't want to ever turn 40 he goes <laughs> he goes i love it, I love it. <laughs> that's so based dude that's and awesome that yeah it's not like we sat and like how can we come up with this intense name that's good no <laughs> i just didn't want to turn 40 years old crush 40 and that's it Dude, that is so cool. That makes the name even cooler, in my opinion. That is so That's cool. Awesome. That's fun. I love that. I mean, absolutely. It fits a lot of the game's messages as well. Living life to the fullest and whatnot. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah Honestly. it's true. So now I got to go, like, crush 60. We're going to have to do an update. I'm like, no way. I'm not going 60, bro. No. No, hell no. I still feel, and you can tell by my energy, I feel freaking 17, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I'll race any one of you guys outside. Come on, <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I'm a maniac. I'm a maniac. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess uh, next question then. So the next question is, who are some of your current favorite musical artists and inspirations that got you into making music to begin with? Oh crap, that's another damn good question. And it's a hard one to answer. Okay, so. This is also a bizarre answer. Mm. Um, so since I'm a songwriter, a lot of people have like a music collection, right? Of all their favorite bands and this and that and the other and playlists and this and that and the other. I never wanted that and I never had that because I, as a songwriter, I didn't really want to be influenced by someone. You know, like if you're a huge, um, okay, give me an artist. Um, okay, Michael Jackson, whatever. If you're yeah. a huge Michael Jackson fan, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a as a, as a writer, you may start writing like that. You know what I mean? Being influenced uh. by the sound, or so I didn't want. I never had a record collection. I barely owned any. Okay, I'm wow. going back a little bit. So I ne barely owned any albums or CDs, really. <laughs> yeah, um, wow. So I I was influenced by the old school rocker guys like Kiss, and now oh, I know nice. all these guys. Yeah, so stuff like that because. I just saw, you know, these big rock bands with the explosions on stage. I saw like the theater, you that that whole show, and that's what kind of made me think, you know, like I, I want to be like that. I want to be on a stage and mm -hmm. make people hear that, you know, hear that. You guys, I'm going to tell you something. There's mm -hmm. there's a lot of exciting parts in our life, right? We hit all these milestones in our life, and I'm going to tell you, there's one sound that is the most infectious sound um the most energy building adrenaline kicking sound ever and that's the sound of an audience when the lights go off and you hear that that big fan all the the cheering that is a sound mm -hmm. that i'm telling you i could probably run six marathons straight without stopping <laughs> 
it's, it's, it's indescribable. So both, so those old school bands like Kiss and Van Halen, and a lot of oh, those nice. 80s bands, that mm-hmm. that's what really got me uh, excited to want to be the whatever we were called, rock stars or whatever the hell I am. <laughs> That, that's amazing i definitely awesome. definitely could see what you mean with like like i i could only imagine with having all those people you know and just hearing that uh, energy that you can i'm sure it's just palatable like with the uh, energy there like yeah. it's insane my very first show you guys very very first show is what we call like an international artist when i got my first big record deal mm-hmm. i was i think i was like 20 I'm thinking 22, 23 years old, mm-hmm. and I got an eight and a half million dollar record deal, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it's insane. And you know what's wild? It's like I didn't even think about that. I didn't. I didn't care. <laughs> I just wanted. To, I wanted to make music, and I wanted to play for people. And my very first show, very first show as an international artist, was to with Van Halen. Wow. in wow. Detroit, the Palace of Auburn Hills for like 50,000 people. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Oh and I, and I, I walk out onto the stage during sound check and, and all those little beats, they look like tiny little freaking chiclets. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. And uh, and when the, all the security is going, okay, lights in 10, lights in 8, lights in 6. And all of a sudden, the lights shut off and that crowd goes, Whoa. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's wow. wow. That, that's it but, right there. You're like, oh my God, really? For me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> I'm not worthy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Trust me, you are. <laughs> oh, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Johnny, I uh, I had a question, and this comes from one of sure. my uh, my friends, Aiden. Um, we're, we're all big Sonic fans, uh, and he wanted cool. to ask... Um, and we're we're especially big Crush Forty fans. Um, but right. um, uh, what is it like performing with other musicians? Are you guys known as the Sonic guys, or does it rarely come up in conversation? Gosh, man, that Aiden, that's a great question, bro. So <laughs> let me answer it for you guys. Um, I've been so lucky with my career because the community, like the Sonic community and the Crush Forty community has supported has sort of what i say cross pollinated into all my other stuff it's not like oh yeah i love johnny's crush stuff but i hate his hardline stuff or i hate his that you know what i mean yeah Yeah, yeah, for some for some reason and i it's not explainable to me but for some reason they're all cross pollinate so it's for me it's easy to change kind of what we say change our hats right Mm so i can be johnny crush 40 and i am i mean because that's my life and then mm. I can go and like uh, in a few weeks I'm off to Europe to do a hardline tour, and then I play all mm. my hardline songs. So, um, all, all the musicians that I work with understand, you know, who I am as a musician and know that I do all those things. So it just kind of works. I don't know. It's weird. And then I can go and do a German Axel Rudy Pell tour, and I'm singing. Mm. I'm singing metal songs. You know, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Know? I don't know, and I see, and the, the, my problem is that I love all of the music, you know what I mean? Like, if I had an opportunity to make a pop album, or a whatever, an easy listening album, or whatever, I would do it, because I just, mm-hmm. as a musician, I just love exploring and working with different musicians. So, I guess the short answer is, that was really not short, but the short <laughs> answer is, um, it all works, and oh. the other musicians... We all just understand that we're working towards, you know, sort of like a common outcome of a song. So it doesn't really matter if it's like, you know, it's Crush 40, it's Hardline, it's Axel, it's Solo, it's whatever. So I don't know. It just kind of works. Yeah. And by the way, like your Hardline stuff, it's funny that you mentioned that because it really does kind of like if you like Crush 40, you do like Hardline and you mm-hmm. do like Axel Rudy Pell. Like uh, before this interview, mm-hmm. I was on a walk and I was literally listening to my favorite Hardline song, which is uh, Fever Dreams. I love that song. It's so good. Don't come. Yeah, it's so good. Like it's all good. And see, like in the last question, you said that, you know, you don't really take influence. And I see that because when you sing, it's like you. There's no other Johnny. It's like you, oh, thank you bro. yeah it's like insane and with the next question it's kind of like uh 
Aldrin's question, which was, uh, this one is, what is it like working with June Sonoe and the rest of the band Crush 40? Oh, they're great. So June and I, again, we've been together for how many, 20 plus years, right? Our, mm -hmm. our, our boys, like my son is 18. Our sons grew up together. So June used to live in, in San Francisco and I lived in Los Angeles. So we were only like a short plane ride away. And a lot of people don't know this, but like June's family and my family, we went on vacations together. Oh, that's really? cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So we would like, we'd go to San Diego, we'd go to Hotel Dell and we'd, we'd hang out and yeah. And our, and our daughters were competitive ice skaters. Oh. So we'd go to competitions oh. together. So we didn't just do, so, so June is not just my music uh, partner. He's, he's family. You know, we're family. We're going to, we're going to be speaking um, this weekend. He's been so crazy busy. This is the hardest working guy I've ever known, you guys. He's working on projects right now with Sega where he doesn't leave his office until four in the morning. Wow. Leave it. He's... Yeah. Oh, wow. He hasn't wow. he hasn't had lunch or dinner with his family in two months, man. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. This guy worked so hard. But anyway, so Jude is um you know, we respect each other. We trust each other mm. in the music. Like he can hand me a piece of music and I'm going to work on it. And I'm going to say, June, I got nothing. It, uh, it's not, I don't, I, I got nothing. He's like, okay. And then he'll send me another piece and I go, I got it. I know what to do on this. Check this out. And then I send it back. And he was like, I love it. You know, we just have a <laughs> trust and a great relationship. When it's time to work with music, we work. When it's time to play and have fun with our families, we do that too. So yeah, I mean, I remember him staying with me in Los Angeles and both our little boys were probably, I don't know, two, three years old. And we'd set up all these pots in the kitchen and we'd give them spoons and they'd be like making noise. Yeah, we, we've been through a lot of stuff together. Yeah, we've been through a lot, a lot of stuff together. He's my buddy. He, that's so awesome, dude. That's really yeah. cool. Totally cool. He's family. He's he's family. And I, I laugh, you guys. I have so many stories, as you could imagine. Mm -hmm. So the Japanese people, uh, understanding that culture, and I've been to Japan a bunch of times, mm -hmm. recorded their shows and everything with June, spent time with his family, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I'm a very, uh, like, emotional, like, uh, I'll hug you. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The Jap Japanese people do not hug. They don't hug. <laughs> yeah. no. So when I go there, they June laughs so hard because I I hug his wife's his wife. I hug his wife's mother. I hug everybody. <laughs> and, June, and they're like scared. And June's like, and he starts laughing. And go what? He goes, we don't hug. And and in his Japanese accent, we don't hug. <laughs> and so it's it's oh, funny, man. man. So we <laughs> have we awesome. have a we have a great history together. Not just yeah. music, but everything mm. else. And that's really cool. That's like that actually yeah. a, that actually kind of leads into the next question because sure. I was wondering uh, how are the songs in Crush Forty written? Like, does June uh, write it and then you help interpret and then like translate it from Japanese, or do you both start it from English together? Or how does the process of writing a Crush Forty song lyric-wise work? Good, good question, man. No lyrics, lyrics, melodies, all me. So here's mm. what happens. So when it's when it's a Crush Forty song that's related to a game, it starts. I God, I wish I could show all the fans this stuff because but i'm not allowed because it's all protected i don't know why it's so secret but there is i get a storyboard first just like a movie and i have some of the most amazing stuff in my in my office so i have the original like adventure 2 the original oh. <laughs> drawings so, yeah hand handwritten drawings of like sonic and eggman and you know shit like that and then they would write okay you know, I'm just giving you an example. Evil Eggman does this, that, and the other. And then the next little frame is Sonic responds by doing this. And so I would get that. And then June would send me a piece of music and he would say, uh, just to try to make it sound uh, really uh, like winning a game. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, <laughs> okay. So I would take that into the studio and I've never, ever ever played any one of these games that i've uh, been part of never even <laughs> rappers 
<laughs> bro, I'm serious, you guys. Never, because I don't want to be close to any one character yeah. and write a certain way, right? So if I don't yeah. know, yeah. If, if all I know is what happens in the scene of, of the game, mm -hmm. that's all I want to know. Because I don't want to be partial to any, you know, write a certain way because I like that character. You know what I mean? Like, I like yeah. that character. Like, I, right now I can tell you, I don't know, of course, I know some of the characters. But honestly, I don't know the emotional or the, uh, you know, emotional parts of Tails or Shadow or Sonic. I don't know mm -hmm. the differences. Yeah. I just know them as characters and I know what the scene is. So, okay. So, they send me that storyboard. June is really just a, a musical writer. He's really not a lyricist or, or melody. Sometimes he has a melody in his mind, and I'll give you an example there. But And he sends that to me, and then I go get weird. I get in the studio, and I just hear something, and thank you, God. I'm a religious guy. It just uh, it, it comes in. Mm. When, I did, when I wrote Live and Learn, oh. I, I thought it sucked. I didn't know. Really? What? Yeah, because what? remember, yeah, yeah, I thought it sucked because I was like, I wasn't sure that I was giving the game and those scenes, you know, like what they sent me, that I was doing enough for it. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Like, like, like if a boxer is walking out to the ring, you know, <laughs> is it enough? Is it enough to, you know? So yeah. when I sent it to him, I said, June, is it good? And he was like, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> he screamed, and I'm like, and then I, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're happy. And it wasn't until I did the Tokyo uh, game event show, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when that song kicked in, when we played it live for the event, the people were, it was freaking insanity, man. It was, and that's, it was at that moment I went. Oh, I think I did something good here. <laughs> that's that's when it honestly, you guys. That's when it connected because I just thought, okay, God, I hope I hope I did the right thing for that scene, for that part of the game, for that because I wasn't, you know, intimately involved in in, in any of the gaming. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. how every single song has been created. Starts with it with the scene or a feeling like oh, this song. We're we're trying to make it. You know, a slow song, but not too. It's not a love song, but it's the. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. And and I remember writing. I think it was. Yeah, I am. I'm all of me. Yes, oh, yes. dude. <laughs> let us <laughs> go. Oh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, so this song. Okay, you guys are gonna freak out. So, I, I decided to move from the West Coast to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. And I bought my family like this big tour bus thing, right? <laughs> and so I said, okay, family, we're going to, this is the last thing I want to do because I've toured the United States like 50 times. I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. But, <laughs> but they wanted to see, oh, daddy, let's, can we see the, I want to see the U.S. Okay. So I buy this big tour bus thing. Now I'm driving it. I don't have a driver. I'm driving <laughs> it. So here, off we go, right? I get a call from June. He goes, very, very important. We have to make a song really quick. I'm like, what do you mean, man? He goes, yeah, we have a deadline. I have, sorry to tell you so late. Anyway, I always do June's Japanese accent. Yeah. We have to do it really quick. So uh, I said, all right, all right, all right. So I literally pulled over. We were like in Tennessee or somewhere. We're coming across the U.S., right? Mm -hmm. And I go into this like campground. I said, okay, you guys... <laughs> need to go and play and do something and i literally stayed in this camp well it was a tour bus kind of thing it was a little bit better than a camper but yeah i wrote this i wrote the song while coming across I, in that camper that's where it all happened <laughs> wow, I that had is the music awesome. and i just yeah i didn't have my studio we're on a deadline i'm like i, I to do this and then Dude. late when it was finally released I never forget my my family came home. They were in one of the like Target stores or something, mm -hmm. and they heard it. They heard it playing, and they're like, "Wait a minute, I know that voice." And my <laughs> wife was like, "Wait, that's Dad." 
<laughs> that's awesome yeah, dude that is amazing. so cool like an yeah, origin story for that song yeah. that's so cool yeah, we're all big fans cool. of that game so like, yes oh it's <laughs> absolutely epic, it's epic. yeah you know what's so fun about talking about it is because you know a lot of the fans picture oh johnny and june are going into a big we're going into the tokyo recording studio and we have done that of course but yeah mm -hmm. they're going into this big studio and they've got oh their assistants and their Musicians are ready and every blah blah blah. No, I just did that in a camper. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wrote that shit in a camper. Yeah, that's so this. awesome, that, dude. That's, that's fun. So incredible, Johnny. It's uh, been fun. For the next question, this one yes. is from Casey, another friend of mine. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, they said, uh, "Have the experiences slash lessons learned during your career in Sonic music influenced your approach to music outside of video games?" Rap. What a great freaking question, Casey. God. Um, yeah, okay, I'll tell you how. Um, so, yes. So, as a musician, well, as the musician I am, bro, let me just tell you, there's a lot of power in the pen, right? Mm -hmm. what, I, what I write can, for me, not for every artist, for me, I feel a, a real responsibility when I'm writing. And I want to write stuff that, is good a message um is uplifting is positive that's just the way i write yeah i mean yeah. i've written songs like you know stuff mm -hmm. like that i have my days i'm human but yeah. for the most part for the most part the whole you know crush 40 uh you know positive sort of outlook and uplifting music um, definitely segued into my other uh bands and the way i write because it's made me more aware of of remembering that people are really listening to this and they're really looking at the lyrics and they're really trying to get something out of it mm. and that happened because this sonic and this sega franchise and community is just massive it's a mm. massive worldwide family man mm. it, it's you know what I mean? So that was an excellent question. So the Crush 40 stuff and the whole everything that I've gone through writing these songs uh, in hopes that they translate well for fans has definitely carried it over into my other uh, songs that I've written for uh, the other bands and stuff like that. So for sure, it was really it taught me um, that um, that um, it's important that the people are really listening and they're really reading. And, you know, I get a lot of, um, a lot of kids that were struggling, yeah. you know, had, yeah. had hard, you know, and they, they look to the games as, as a way to escape, you know, temporarily yeah. from life, yeah. you know, cause it's like, it's something you can control. And I get that, man. I didn't get it at first, you guys, I didn't yeah. get it, but now I understand that, you know, sometimes life is so heavy that we look to a game cause we can control it. You know, we can make yeah. it you know Perfect. novice yeah. intermediate yeah and mm -hmm. so i knew that there were a lot of fans out there that 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 needed to feel good you know when they heard this music so yeah. and so yeah anyway i could yeah. go on and on and on <laughs> i always have a lot to say yeah but uh so this question i want to know uh what was the first song you remember performing as a band like crush 40 holy crap oh you mean like a, oh for crush 40 you mean? yeah for crush 40 like as a band in crush 40 um i th think it was yeah by sh yeah 100 percent. it was that tokyo event that tokyo the tokyo game show mm. uh that was and that was the first like live experience mm. and um yeah it was it was that show that was the first show again like i said that connected me mentally to oh my god this this shit's huge mm -hmm. i didn't realize this <laughs> and you know that the, my whole the crush 40 and the whole franchise is bigger than anything i've ever done and i've sold millions of records and this is bigger really mm. and yeah this is bigger this huh. is bigger the, because like i said that you know the fans are so there it doesn't yeah. matter if you were eight years old when you played a game and now you're 35 you still love it and so do i and so actually, I'm, yeah. oh, my bad right yeah right man you know what i mean so it's yeah. like it's yeah. like 
and then the other bands, you know, look like the album can fade and you go on to the next album and that's it, you know, but this is mm. something that is like the core of us, right? Like we will never forget the, these games and they'll always have like a really important part. It's like, it's like tattooed on, <laughs> on us, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that actually uh, really um, well leads into the next question. Yeah. actually because uh this question comes from my personal friend jasmine peoples she's a musician herself that you have i mean crush 40 all of your music that you've done has greatly inspired her and she oh. because she makes music she was wondering uh seeing as you work with sega and outside sources so often how do the instructions sega provide uh affect your compositions and have you ever deviated from them when writing a song Jasmine, great, great, great question. Holy crap, girl. Um, so I've been really fortunate. I'm going to answer this simply without going on and on like I do. <laughs> um, I've been very fortunate that Sega has trusted me um, with lyrical content and melody. So I've never, I would have to say there was one time that I recall that they rejected a lyric because it was a little, maybe a little harsh. Mm. And I don't even remember what I said in the lyric, but it, <laughs> I, they rejected it. And I was like, whoa, they rejected a lyric? <laughs> other than that one time, yeah, it was, it was wild. But other than that one time, they have given me 100% freedom wow. to develop what I thought was the best for the scene and for the game. And I think here's why, um, Jasmine and for you guys, I think it's because we had such great success right out of the gate, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if, if Live and Learn wasn't such an epic and huge song for them, they'd be like, um, okay, well, you know, let's try this and, well, let us listen to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like when you have a hit song, are you going to go back to the artist and say, well, you know, we want to really understand what you're going to write here. You know what I mean? It's like, you already wrote us a hit song. Can you write us another hit song? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I, I've been really lucky that the only thing they've asked me to do is to just support the best I can as a musician, support that part of the game. You know what I mean? Whether it's a final fight scene or a whatever, that's it. Yeah. I've never, and I've never had to really communicate with anyone other than june um Sonoy on mm -hmm. on the music level huh. it's crazy it's yeah. it's crazy it's just like okay yeah. let's get johnny to do this and okay johnny june let's go get to work <laughs> and we do and we hand it in it's like they love it okay great next let's go let's keep going <laughs> so <laughs> now, johnny this one uh this is actually this one's actually from me but um okay it, I, I was really curious about this is, is there any other genre of music you'd like to dabble with or experiment with in your musical career yes but my kids make fun of me i've always <laughs> wanted to put a little bit of rap oh into, nice yeah Ooh, but kind of like cool. a, yeah just yeah. i mean you know, just a little bit of a distorted kind of rappy thing mm -hmm. because, because, you know, in rap, I can say a lot more mm -hmm. in a shorter amount of time. You know what I mean? That, I yeah, know it sounds yeah. weird, but think about mm -hmm. it. It's like, what is it? What is it about me? I mean, you can say a lot of stuff in a short <laughs> amount of time. Where in my traditional music, it's so formatted verse, B section, chorus, verse two, B section, chorus, bridge, you know, all these components that make a song right but in rap you can just freaking fly and say what you want you know but my kids are like dad you're old as shit you can't do that <laughs> you can so, bro I, it would oh, fit thank perfectly you. <laughs> it would fit perfectly with the type of music you do definitely for crush 40 uh, totally I, I, so too. I mean i think it has its place so you know being a musician i love all kinds of of music so i mean i'm always open and i to to any style of music and i get musicians i mean you can only imagine how many hundreds of people that email every week saying hey can you know can we work on a song together and i wish i had the time to do uh, these projects but I'll, I'll do a side project here and there and i love it because i get to understand you know someone else's perspective in music and even if there's i hear something on the radio 
or radio, whatever. Or does, does radio exist? Yeah. If, I hear yeah. Right, yeah. You know, if I hear something right, and even if I don't like the song, mm -hmm. I can always find the art within it because mm -hmm. someone created that, right? So it's their, it's like their brainchild, it's their idea. And there's something in there, and I always just kind of try to search for it, and I'll always find something. To go, shit, that was a cool part. I like that. That was all. You know what I mean? So for me, music is art. You start with a blank canvas. Think about it. You're the painter, right? And you've mm -hmm. got this blank canvas, canvas, and now you're going to spread paint over it, and you're doing it for yourself mm -hmm. because you want to paint what you see, right? And then you, okay, I hate to use the word sell, but then you offer or sell the mm -hmm. painting in hopes that people like what you drew right same exact stuff in music so as, as an artist you basically paint the picture of what you hear in your mind what you visualize the end result to be for yourself first and then in the hopes that people will gravitate and love it and use it and respond to it and that is a musician's greatest feeling ever when someone is affected by your song then you did it that's mm -hmm. that's the, yeah. that's the real thing it's not the money that comes in from it it's like hey that song changed my life hey that song kept me from jumping off a freaking cliff wow. when that yeah. stuff happens mm -hmm. to you that's mm -hmm. when you take full responsibility in your music and it becomes more than just like yeah i wrote this killer freaking song man <laughs> no you wrote yeah, you wrote yeah. a song that that that's changed someone or it's yeah. helped someone it's the best mm -hmm. man i'm so grateful i'm grateful to this second for for my life and my my career in music mm -hmm. Yeah, that actually, again, leads kind of, because we just have a few more personal questions uh, from sure, each man. of us about yeah, like uh, around, songs that we really like or just things in general. So, sure. uh, Panic, away, you, sh you shoot for it first. All right. Okay, so I know you already kind of told us a little bit about Live and Learn, but I have to ask more because it is my favorite song, that, and entire like, favorite song ever. Uh, because mm -hmm. you wrote Live and Learn, what was your thought process and what were your inspirations when writing the song? Great question, bro. Great question. So the idea behind it, again, remember the story. I didn't know that it was good. Mm. Um, all I saw in, in the storyboards was, you know, a lot of the interaction in the game, mm -hmm. but limited, man. I had like, I don't know, I think that one had like two or three pages of drawings. That's it. <laughs> wow. So it was probably like one, two, three, four. I'm trying to visualize like five drawings on each page times like three or four pages. And I had to kind of, you know, so what I saw was, and again, I was not a gamer, so I had to just get really creative. So Live and Learn, for me, was basically the experience that I was hoping the gamer was having as he navigated through the game. Because that's yeah. really all I knew wow. at that point. I didn't know hmm. how to do the game. I didn't know collecting coins or collecting what <laughs> weapons i didn't know yeah. so yeah. all i knew yeah. was that i needed to live and oh. as i'm going through this game i'm learning i'm learning don't do that don't do oh. this do this do that and that's oh. that's that's how it all connected that to me is there. so awesome. awesome i can see that in the lyrics now like i'm just running yep. through my head that is so awesome like oh yeah can you feel that <laughs> yes through your mind yeah it's that's that's exactly it's like here i am i'm gonna navigate through this thing i'm gonna live hopefully mm -hmm. and i'm yeah. gonna learn and, and it's just you know it's the old saying and, and i pulled it from the old saying we're going well well live and learn yeah yeah and that's mm -hmm. and that was the experience i wanted to you know yeah. and the feel so yeah good uh, question man Thanks. yeah uh the, a personal question of my note because uh i myself your music uh, a lot of musicians that i've listened to uh and with jasmine's help uh, i very much have grown a love for singing so i wanted to ask awesome. you uh what made you want to become a singer specifically and do you have any advice for aspiring vocalists okay man great question so i'm now i'm going to take you guys back way back so before i was a musician i was an actor and i did a oh. lot of off yeah i did a lot of off broadway I had my own little tv show i worked hard as a kid you guys mm -hmm. i didn't really have i'll just be honest with you i didn't really have a lot of friends Mm. I worked. I don't know why. When I was eight years old, I knew what I wanted to do. 
Yeah. And um, and so I didn't. I wasn't outside, you know, playing with Tonka toys and you know digging <laughs> in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. I, I was. I was learned how to play the guitar at eight, and I started wow. writing songs and putting these things down. Right. So, I I was a part of uh, off Broadway. I did a lot of theater shows as a little kid. And I got this musical part. It was with the old "Bye Bye Birdie." It was old classic musical, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a singing part. And I'm like, "Oh shit! I don't know how to sing." <laughs> I didn't think. I didn't honestly. So the music director, you know, sits down and says, "Okay, Joey, we're going to work on this song for the show." And he's like, "Hit this note, ding ding," on the piano. I'm like, uh, uh, uh. "He's like, no, no, just yeah." And I'm like, oh, you know, by the, so by the time it was all said and done, I realized, holy shit, I can sing. And then how much I loved singing. So mm -hmm. for, for me, I'm going to try, I'm trying to answer this question for you. I didn't know that I knew how to sing. It mm -hmm. was sort of like this gift that was in me that this guy, this director of music brought out of me. And I'm so grateful for him i think he still lives in new york this director and um that's how it happened for me and then my brother had this little high school band and uh i used to watch them practice i mean religiously every night they practiced in our basement right and i would watch and i'd watch and they'd watch and i learned how to play the drums. so the drummer oh. would go home and i would sit behind his drums and i'd play i knew every damn song i knew every lyric and everything <laughs> <laughs> that drummer, you guys, that drummer got sick. And I told my brother, I said, I can play the songs. He's like, what are you talking about? I said, I can play the songs. <laughs> and uh, they, so they fired, they ended up firing this drummer and I became the drummer singer. Oh, wow. And God, it was awesome. crazy. That's so that was, I was, <laughs> I was so, so at that point I was 11 years old. And then, um, I had to make a decision because we were getting so many music gigs and my parents said, hey, listen, you either want to be an actor or you want to be a musician. You can't do both. It's we're, This mm. is insane, driving you all over the place, you know, making my parents nuts. And so I said, no, I, I, I want to be a musician. So that's what it what happened for me. So the advice, the advice I give uh, if you if you're an inspiring singer is to do just that. Sing, get yourself involved with as many projects and as many musicians as possible and sing um just always you know working on honing your craft and singing is an instrument mm. um when i'm on the road man i'm freaking out because i can't <laughs> it's not like a guitar string that if you break it you can change it you know you, i gotta be careful and so anyway my advice is to sing get out there and live singing is is the best man because that is that relationship between someone listening to you you see their eyes mm -hmm. you see their you hear their reaction you get a reaction and that's when you really rise up as a as a musician and you know what here's the last bit of advice on that keep it real mm -hmm. these damn computers you youngsters with these damn computers <laughs> okay if, if i see a damn mm -hmm. auto-tune plug-in oh. and someone's pitch it I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna break your damn computer. <laughs> sing, <laughs> sing, singing is 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 natural. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's mm -hmm. the emotion. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. what, it's what's coming out of your yeah. It's the performance. It's having people um, feel you. You know what I mean when you're mm -hmm. singing. That's more important than being spot on the note. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's the emotion behind it. So yeah, for sure. Anyway. No. Johnny, it's crazy. We got yes. We got two. We got one. Like um, excuse me. <laughs> we got one mm -hmm. major question left, and then I, mm -hmm. and then there's one more after that. We we just Don't worry, gotta man. ask. Um, Fire but, away, bro. So this one, um, we got a lot of questions from the Crush Forty Discord, and we tried to get some of the best, and um, they were all great. But we 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 you know just because of time and everything, we couldn't get all of them. But um. This is kind of a combo question of two in one. Um, this okay. the first part is from the Crush Forty Discord. Um, th his name is Alex, and he wants okay. to know: um, You've recently revealed that you're working on a new Crush Forty album with June. He, I'm sure you don't yep. want to reveal too many details about it, but <laughs> can you give us any idea on the creative direction or vision? Oh. And then oh. another uh, 
Another question was from uh, the user Charlie, and uh, he said, I know it does not depend much on you, but would you like to return to perform live in Mexico? We miss you so much here in Taco Land. And then he said in parentheses, oh. uh, ki kind regards from Mexico. Oh, I just had a an interview uh, prior to this call um, with Mexico City. Oh, wow. And okay. that, that was an epic show that we did uh, in Mexico City. Epic. We just I was just <laughs> talking about it. So, yeah, so I alluded to the fact that we were working on uh, new crush material. That is definitely true. Um, is it? Is it? Yeah. Is it complete? No. And I'm going to tell you why. Mm. I have mm. a I have a, a call with June um, this weekend to talk about <gasps> what I feel will be the most revolutionary and epic thing to happen to Crush Forty oh. ever. Oh, oh man! Oh, oh, I wonder. My. <laughs> and I can't, and I can't mm. tell you, I can't tell you what it is. You're gonna have to, yeah, wonder. Uh, but mm. I, I believe. So here's what happened, you guys. I woke up at three thirty eight in the morning mm. with an idea, and I jumped out of bed and I grabbed my phone and I start writing myself some notes. And my wife is like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, yeah, "I got an idea." <laughs> it's so weird. It's it's hell living with a musician. So. What I'm going to talk about this weekend, and hope, and as soon as I get a green light, the world is going to know, and oh. it's going to be. I, I, I wish I could tell you guys, it's going to be. It's not just an album. Mm. It's going to be the most epic um, uh, encore <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. I, I don't know. I wish I could tell you, but mm. so the pl so, so the plan is yes, there's going to be music, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a lot more than music. Wow! So Exciting. yeah, so for the, for the Crush Forty uh, live performances, I will just mm -hmm. tell you when we did the 30th anniversary thing with the orchestration and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was we're, amazing. We're, by we're, the way. We're, oh, thanks, man. It really that was. was. I was singing. Like, I don't think you need us to tell oh. you that. That was absolutely phenomenal. Like, yes, I was like literally <laughs> jumping. Was, oh my god, <laughs> but it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. bro. It was so I had good. So much fun doing that. Well, we're <laughs> thinking and we're working. Not thinking. We're beyond thinking. We're working on taking that live show on the road around oh. the world. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, my god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, so that so that the fans can be in a. You know, one to two thousand seat theater, oh. and be able to experience uh, that show. Uh, it won't be quite as long as as what was that's what's online, mm. but experience that live. Oh, All the video oh, footage, wow. the orchestration, the live music. <laughs> the yeah, so we're working on that. If you guys come There's to Florida, so I'm definitely going to say hi. <laughs> I'm going. To, I will travel going, as far as I need to. I me I, too. I, so <laughs> stoked. That would be I, right. I mean, I would just be out of my mind to to do it. It's good. It's we're working on it. It's just as you can imagine, oh, you yeah. guys touring with a full orchestra. I mean, just think of the hotel rooms. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a massive production. So we are working on it. We're in Florida. Um, oh, we're, south, we're, uh, uh, I anywhere on like the southwest part, like from like. Uh, Naples up to Tampa is where I'm. That okay, area cool. is I'm at. I live. I live in two different areas. I'm in college right now, so. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. I'll be in Tampa uh, next month. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm going to shoot down there with my son. We're going to do a little fishing and a little relaxing together. Oh, cool! Before oh, he nice. uh, mm. before he gets ready for college. So mm. yeah, I love Florida. You're lucky. Right now, I'm freezing <laughs> my ass off here in New England. New England, go, <laughs> go Sox. Yeah. But, uh, no, who said that goes oh, I'm a New York guy. Oh, oh okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, <laughs> oh, no I'm, I'm I like kidding. But um, uh, I like I like the Sox too. It's okay. But uh, mm. I we got oh, one yeah. last question, and I'm sorry, sure. this is kind of a, a grilling question, but it, okay. it had to, it, we had to ask it. So, okay. and I know you probably can't say too much if it's this is happening you know so if if you can't answer it we understand but um okay if presented with the opportunity is okay. there any news or a potential 
vision or idea that you would have for a song in, say, the Sonic Movie 2, or <laughs> as I'm sure you've heard of the new game that's coming out, Sonic Frontiers. The new Sonic game. I'm... Okay, so... Um... I'm just going to shoot you with the truth because that's where I'm at. Okay. Um, I I hate to disappoint everyone, mm -hmm. but Crush 40 is not part of Sonic 2 movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was talks about it early on, mm -hmm. and for some reason, you guys, that movie production group doesn't understand mm -hmm. the history of crush 40 yeah, they, they want really they want to make they don't yeah. get it it's, they don't it's, it's, it's mind-blowing to me i'm really disappointed yeah. because mm -hmm. they don't get it and yeah mm -hmm. so i still scratch my head going why don't they just look I, just I understand know. yeah it's yeah. right there it's the, synonymous it, it, it's, it's right I, there I, the thing it's I like there is no sonic without crush 40 exactly. in my opinion because like, thank you right. guys thank you so that's that is you know now look Strange things has happened, you know, has happened to me in the past. Uh, when I did the music for uh, Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, mm -hmm. and I did that, it wasn't The Crow, I did Rapid Fire, the, mm. the, the, his very first movie. You guys were, like, not even born. But um, <laughs> that that happened in the 11th hour. All of a sudden, we get a call, like, Brandon Lee wants to put two of your songs in his movie. We go to the Paramount Studios and, and view it and see if you like the positioning and I still like wait every day for that call because I think it's so mm. important, but oh, yeah. they don't get it, bro. They just yeah. want to make a movie and look, yeah. I, they, they made a great movie. They made a great movie, mm -hmm. they made everybody happy. That's cool. But I think they, they miss a lot of yeah. the, they just see the visual part, but they don't understand the relationship between the music and the, and the characterization. The you know what I mean? Yeah. The yeah. Soul. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, because I remember after I watched the Sonic movie, I went, like, when it came out on opening day, and I went there and I watched it, and I was just waiting for a Crush 40 song to play. Like, I was literally just waiting. And then as I left the movie theater, I was like, that was a great movie, but where's Johnny? Where's June? Oh, <laughs> like, you know, yeah. like, and I was so mm -hmm. disappointed because I was like, I could see points where certain songs would maybe fit in, and they just yeah. didn't. And I was so disappointed. Yeah. Uh, uh, me too. Me too. I saw the little Easter egg. I saw where it said mm -hmm. Crush 40. I'm like, look, you dipshits. You should have looked a little <laughs> deeper into that. You know? You missed yeah. the boat. Especially yeah. with the so, direction of the sequel. That just, I mean, yeah. I just look at the trailers that they're putting out, and I'm just like, this would, I mean, I, I look at these awesome visuals and, like, the punching and the action, and I'm just like, where, where's 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 Johnny? Just, like, yeah. screaming yeah. his heart into a microphone. Where's June shredding on the guitar? It would just yeah. lift the entire thing up so much more. Yeah. What I'm made of, right? What? Mm -hmm. Oh I'm yes. Made of. Come on. <laughs> exactly. It, it it all works, and I love how the fans have rescored it. I thought that yeah. was so cool. They take video and they put put the Crush Forty music in, and yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> I, I saw <laughs> scenes it's, of the Sonic movie with it, uh, with Crush Forty and stuff like that. It yeah. just fits perfectly, you know. It's killer. Like, it's still killer. Perfect. It's still yeah. Killer. So as far as the game, you guys, that also. Um, again, to my knowledge, there's, um, uh, Crush 40 is not part of that. Okay. Mm. okay. So, yeah. Doesn't that suck? Yeah. yeah. I don't, it kind of does. Yeah, to be honest. It, I, it, it, not kinda, like, we it complain really does. every game. Like, every game yeah. that comes out, we complain that <laughs> there's no Crush 40. I know. I figure that they uh, understand by now. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. On, on one hand... You know, June's got a tough job because he works for Sega, mm -hmm. and he can't just say, "Hey, let's put Crush Forty. Let's use Crush Forty. Let's do." You know what I mean? Yeah, he can't mm -hmm. do that. It has to really come from other people saying, "Hey, you know what? We think the Crush Forty is a fit here." Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, Green Green Light Ride was the last oh, uh, thing that we that thing. we did. Yeah, thank you that we did yeah, together. Yeah. That that we recorded in the uh, in in Japan. That mm. one we did in beautiful posh. That wasn't in my RV. That one was definitely <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have a question. Do you uh, have time for yeah. one more question? Can of I? Of course. All sure. right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um, what's your favorite Crush 40 song and why? I, d I just want to oh. know. Oh, man. Okay. I, I got to give you three. Okay. So, okay. 
live and learn for obvious oh. reasons. Mm -hmm. For obvious, for obvious reasons, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I am. I'm all of me. Yes, because that's where I stepped out a little bit, you know, and have a little bit of a little bit of a rapping thing going on in there. Mm -hmm. That was just so um, unique. And I'll just t give you a little background because this is just cool for for everyone listening. So I am, I'm all of me. All they told me was that you would be able to control, and I don't even know if this was true, you guys. You could tell me. <laughs> You'll be able to control the emotion of the character. That's what I was told. So what came into my mind right away was I am, I'm all of me. I can uh, be this, <laughs> I can be that, I can be this way, I can have this emotion. I am all of me. Uh -huh. So that's how that song was created. So that's my number two. And my number three is what I'm made of only because it's just live. We just love playing. It just kicks ass to hear the crowd going, what I'm made of. It's just, yeah, it's just it, awesome. You're it's a genius. Cool. Like the fact no. that you came up, no, you came up with I am all of these lyrics just based off the, like the slight premise of the game. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like that's Incredible. so cool. It like is, that's it so is. cool. It, oh, is, man, it is pretty it's it is pretty cool you guys sometimes and again i am so grateful man sometimes i sit and i'll listen to a song and go how the hell did i think about that how did that happen <laughs> you know i'm sometimes I'll, you know, I'll go on a long run and i'll click on like a hardline radio and like wow that was pretty cool i thought of that okay <laughs> yeah, it just you know it just happens you just you live in the moment and you know when you're an artist whether you're a painter or you're a singer or you're a trombone player <laughs> you just uh you do what you do you know what i mean yeah. and yeah. and i don't really question it and there's plenty of songs you guys that i'm like i don't know what the hell to do with this I, I got nothing. <laughs> I got freaking nothing. And June knows too. June's like, oh, it's okay. You don't hear anything? No, I don't hear anything. Yet. Oh, sorry. Or I'll say, June, I love you, man. That sucks. Mm -hmm. and, and he'll let me go, oh, I go, yeah, June, that sucks. And so, uh, yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Johnny, uh, I do just, just like a uh, quick, I don't want to take up like, a lot of your time, but. Uh, oh, no problem. Um, I got time. On, on your uh, like Supersonic Songs album, you did a cover of. Firewoman by the Cult, and I know that song because of Crush Forty before I heard the original version by the Cult. I was just wondering if there was any specific reason that y'all decided to do a cover of that song. If you just really like the song, that was okay. So here's the. I wish I could give you a really incredible answer. June loved the song. Goes, I think you would sound great singing this song. Can we mm -hmm. do it? I'm like, sure, I'll do it. And that's it. And you know what's I mean, funny? He was right. Ian, I mean, yeah, yeah he really so, was. So back in the day, okay, when was the day? So the day was like in the, I'm trying to think, uh, uh, early 90s. I used to hang out with the singer of the cult, oh. uh, Ian. Yeah, Ian Anderson. Wow. And we, we used to just go to like a club and just drink water. I'm not, not into all the party stuff. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yeah. just, just hang out. He's just a real super quiet guy. And then years later, June goes, hey, I like to cover uh, the cult song. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, no, it's just June's, one of June's favorite songs. He keeps trying to get me to do a, uh, a Queen song. Oh, you and, do good oh, job. Oh, wow. Wow. Awesome. And I'm like, okay. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so, we, you know, he always has, he always has these, these ideas, and, I'm, I, and I go with it. You know, yeah. if I can do it, I'll do it. If I can do it well, I'll do it. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Do you think, uh, talking about covering songs, this was actually just a question I came up with. Uh, do you know the song, um, uh, what's it called? Endless Possibilities from Sonic Unleashed. Um, would you ever cover that song? Uh, I don't know the song. You guys are going <laughs> to kill me. I don't know the song. Oh, <laughs> man. Um, but, maybe I do know the song. It's just not, it's just not uh, connecting. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, yeah, you know, here's how I work that kind of stuff. So, like, as you can imagine, you guys, I get offers every week. Hey, will you sing on my song? Will you sing on, the, on my song? I'll mm. pay you a, a gazillion dollars. I'll buy <laughs> you an airplane. I don't <laughs> care about. I don't care about any of that stuff. Mm. If I can't bring value to the song, right? Like if I can't make the song sound like kick ass, I won't do it. Yeah, I just won't do it. Yeah. you can't buy me. You know what I mean? You can't buy me because I, I wanna, I wanna take a song and and bring it to. You know another level if i can so 
yeah, I'm always open to covering songs. I think that's that's fun. That's actually fun for me mm -hmm. to do it in kind of my style. But I got to make sure that I can do it well, or I yeah. just don't do it. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, well, sure. if there is a match, I can tell you, um, not just from us, but a lot of people in you know in the fan base, they love that song, and like we have been like dying to hear a yes. Crash 40 version of it. Crap. Okay, That's I wrote true. it down. I wrote it down, and I will check it out, and then I'll talk to June just for you yeah. guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God! Really? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And, wow. uh, oh my oh God. God. That's amazing. Totally, thank, totally. Thank you. you. Oh my god. Thank you so your, much. your voice sure. would go perfectly with the yeah. song. Like it would go it down. Would it would be it'd be amazing. In Absolutely. The, uh, so, so who did it originally? Um, I think you know it was Bowling for, Bowling for Soup, Bowling for Soup right? Yeah, uh, Bowling for okay. Soup. Yeah, it was, it was the lead singer okay. of that. And then in the orchestra uh, for the 30th anniversary, um, I believe his name's Nate Once, Once the, battle. the Battle. He yeah, did a it cover okay. of it battle. for it. Mm -hmm. okay. It was the one in the beginning. It's like dun 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 with the guitar. Like, yeah, that yep. probably gave okay. you no. That probably was like nothing, but like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, it gives me a reference, and so when I look it up, I'll know, I'll know exactly what I'm what I'm looking for. So yeah, yeah the guitar like cool. shreds in the yeah. beginning. Like it's amazing. Okay. Like okay. I just every time I hear it, I'm just like, bro, Johnny's voice would go perfectly with this. I want to hear it. It's like I want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no disrespect to Bowling for Soup's lead singer, but it, I mean, if there was a Crush Forty cover, definitive version. Like that's like, right right do all the time. <laughs> yeah. No, I listen, cool, you know? yeah. I listen to the Crush me. Forty version of uh, His World all the time, oh, yeah. like over the original. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's 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 a form of flattery to the original artist anyway. When your song is covered, it's like, wow, that guy's covering my song. It's cool. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. You know, other other groups don't look at it like, oh shit, he sings that better than me, or <laughs> or that sucks, or whatever. It's it's always a form of flattery. So it's it's cool. I, so I also. Um, Real quick, we were talking, what sure. I said earlier about that uh, Crush 40 Discord, I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to uh, send, put the link in the, in the, uh, like, the text channel for it, if you're interested awesome. in checking it out. Um, I do, yeah. And here's what I need from you guys, mm -hmm. if you could help me. Um, so I have a, a new charity out. I don't know oh. if you saw it on my social stuff. So for me, 2022 is about mental health awareness, because... Mm -hmm. I've learned through a lot of my Crush 40 fans that, um, you know, life can be hard. It can be hard whether you're a Crush 40 fan or not. Yeah. But so I've dedicated a lot of time to, to bringing people to be aware that if you don't feel good mentally, go to the doctor just like you would a cold or a flu because it's yeah. that important, you know. It's a, it's a real disease that, oh. that can be treated. And so I have a charity that I'm raising money for for the suicide hotlines um, and I'm giving away a brand new Somnium guitar probably one of the most amazing wow. guitars uh, wow. five thousand dollar guitar five thousand <laughs> and you can you can win it for one dollar that's all I ask one dollar wow. donation so I'm gonna have my assistant Allie send you guys uh, a link if you can mm -hmm. get it out there one dollar and the, the computer will pick the person randomly and i will mm -hmm. ship the guitar anywhere in the world it doesn't matter where mm -hmm. i don't care what it costs to ship one dollar will win you a five thousand dollar guitar brand new i'll sign it and it all goes to charity to the helplines and all the suicide prevention mm -hmm. uh and and other support groups i'm just going to divvy the money out to everyone so it's a it's a great cause if you guys could help me yeah, of course. I, I actually have a absolutely. question uh, regarding that um yes there's uh, i don't know like the details specifically and i could you know contact ali about it um sure. and uh but on youtube actually there's a way that you can um monetize like uh live streams and videos for all of the money from that as a fundraiser to go to a certain charity um as as a way of like fundraising, yeah, uh, and I, I that's I, cool. I, I didn't. I, I'm not sure if that would be. You know, I I could ask her about that because I would definitely be down with that, and I'd be able to spread it. Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you wouldn't mind sure. talking to her about yeah. it, yeah. I'm a I'm a social idiot, so uh, you know, like <laughs> if you. When I hear my family talking about, oh, that's on my story, I'm like, well, did you write a story? <laughs> I'm not gonna read your story. Like, no, Dad, it's just like a little. What do you mean it's a story? So I'm a social idiot, 
and I choose I choose not to do it because I just want to focus on making music, right? Yeah, I don't want to know how to yeah. freaking oh, make sure you tag this person. Well, we used to play tag outside. <laughs> I don't tag people. <laughs> So yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you guys all. I really totally. appreciate it. If of you can spread that, that'd be really good. And you guys too. It's one dollar. Mm-hmm. One dollar. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, it. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I'll yes, probably sir. donate. Actually, I'll, I'll donate. I, yeah, I'll I'm gonna shoot. donate. I'll donate five <laughs> times. Sure. I'll donate five yeah. times over. <laughs> oh yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. And I'll totally uh, put that in my videos and stuff. Yes. I'll definitely bring awareness to that. Just keep calling to tell me that. I'm She's telling me that I'm nine minutes late for my next interview. Oh, oh, guys, sorry, I gotta oh, go. Okay, okay, so sorry. Well, all right, I'll wrap it up real quick. All right, I'll wrap I'll it up real quick. Sorry up. about keeping you, Johnny. All right. Don't worry, man. Don't uh, worry. So that's all the questions. I just wanted to thank all you guys for watching this far. And I just want to give a very special thanks to Johnny for joining us on this interview. Honestly, I can't stref- stress enough how amazing it is to talk to the lead singer who influenced my passion for Sonic and content creation in general. Your music has helped me get through a lot. And I want to thank you again. And I feel like everyone watching and especially nick and eldrin here feel the exact same so oh yeah yeah, um, yeah that absolutely 100 that was wonderful thank you guys <laughs> i enjoyed my time with you guys i so appreciate each and every one of you and all the fans for yeah. for being a family uh, a real community together in this and <laughs> it, it lives forever so uh, take care of yourselves be good to yourselves and uh we'll talk again sometime hopefully yeah god same willing yes yeah. yeah, for sure right. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for your help you guys thanks for your support i'll talk we'll talk soon yeah thanks for coming take, on thank yeah, you thanks got for coming it. on. Bye. you're welcome take care you guys yeah bye 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 oh my oh god my gosh. Gosh. oh my god Wait, let, let, let's go in, let's go in the other one let's go in, let's go in dreamcasters let's go in dreamcasters okay let's go in dreamcasters and talk about it Oh my, oh my god! god. Oh, my oh my gosh! Oh my god, Elgin, give me the video! Give me what you have! I, I want to start have a recording now. right now. I wonder Wait. if he's going to join. Oh my Discord. god! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Hello? 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 I got it! Oh, you're awesome! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. What, All right. What's up? What's up, bro? Hello. How are you doing, How Mr. Are you guys? We're doing I'm pretty doing good. It. No, no, no. Call me Johnny. Johnny, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Jolie's my was my father. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. I'm Johnny. What's up, right. Rose? How is everybody? Every, oh, we're we're doing good. Pretty, we're doing good. Yeah. This is good, a huge good. honor for us. To, Honestly, oh, yeah. huge Thank honor, you, bro. Yeah. For me too, bro. For me too. <laughs> this is great, man. I always look. I got to tell you something. You guys know I've been. I'm an old dude now. I mean, I've been doing this. The the whole Sonic franchise has been. You know, it's been my family. It's like I've got family around the world mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. uh i was doing some stuff on fiverr mm-hmm. and uh and you know i reach out and you know i'm i'm pretty you guys know me i'm, I'm pretty humble guy i don't really think of myself self as like a big star you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and i'm talking to people i'm like well where are you from They're like oh i'm in sri lanka and i'm like mm-hmm. oh have you ever heard of crush 40 oh my god i'm a huge <laughs> fan <laughs> it doesn't matter. I was on the. I was on this morning with Bangladesh. I'm like, oh my <laughs> god, I love live and learn, and I love. So I mean, this. It's. Uh, I'm always happy to talk to uh, you know fans of the music and of the franchise and just you know everyone. So anyway, yeah. What's and going on, fellas? It, well, we should probably start with the intro, right? So okay, yeah. Do your uh, thing, man. All right, okay. We are recording, right, guys? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll get started.